Hey, Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in. Today, a quick MD Minute looking at a study that links autism and food allergy. So this was published just now in JAMA Open Network, which is a well-known journal online. And it looked at over almost 200,000 children. The average age was 10, 50% were male, 50% were female. And it was looking at them between um, 19, the 1990s and the early 2000s, a, a period of approximately nine years. What it looked at is the number of them that were diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder, and then the number of these kids who were also diagnosed with food allergies. They did incidentally look at airborne allergies and skin allergies, but the most interesting data was from food allergy. And what they found was that if you were diagnosed with autism, your risk of having food allergies was 2.3 times increased compared to someone who didn't have autism. And the researchers really postulated that there is a link between the gut and the brain, the gut-brain axis. One of the ideas is that some of the autistic patients, unfortunately, are nonverbal. They can't communicate any discomfort. They may be eating food that is causing them to have discomfort. Unable to express that, it can come out as irritability, aggressiveness, and some of the features we see with rather more significant autism spectrum disorder. But I think of this from another way. Perhaps it is actually food allergy that is causing an in inflammatory response in the brain and worsening the autistic state. So my take on this is that patients with autism certainly worth getting food allergy testing. That would be either blood or prick testing from an allergist on your skin. The blood is IgE, E for Edward testing. Certainly worth doing because if you have foods you're allergic to, Definitely worth avoiding them. Dr. Joe Foyer's time with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in.